Hi folks, we've got another clean water systems instructional video for you today. Uh, today we have our AirMax system set up. Basically you have your inlet and outlet water tank. You have your air pump with a gauge. Uh, air valve control valve comes in through the head. You've got a check valve here on the exit. You've got a ball valve, solenoid valve that goes out to drain. This system comes in two different varieties. Uh, the demonstration today, we're actually going to have the pump and the solenoid valve hooked up to a timer. Uh, you can set the timer to come on several times a day just to give you uh, fresh air into your tank for odors. Um, uh, the other way to do it is actually hook it up to your well switch. Um, if you uh, have that, uh, we have a 220 version that the pump comes in a 220 as well as a solenoid valve. So you can wire that directly to your pump. So basically the way the system works, it's uh, just a small compressor here. It pumps air through a diffuser tube and or we have the double aeration uh, through a, a diffusion, diffusion stone as well. And it just basically aerates the water as it passes through the tank. Just to give you an idea, so this is basically pumping air now into the tank. Okay, so uh, want to make sure you uh, inventory all your components for your AirMax kit prior to starting your assembly. Uh, basically, with the exception of the tank, you'll, you'll have a tank, you'll have your air pump, you'll have your D-tube, you'll have your head with all the uh, air diffusers, timer, a ball valve, your pressure gauge, your pressure regulation valve, two check valves, three fittings, and the feet for your pump. And then you'll have two 3 8 nipples and a reducer with a quarter inch nipple. Your tubing, and then your double aeration kit. Okay, I'm going to show you how to adjust your air regulation valve. Uh, basically what you want to do is set the pressure if you're using a timer system like we're using today uh, you want to set the uh, air pressure at 5 to 10 psi higher than your line pressure so uh, basically the highest pressure your tank would ever see um, if you're hooking up a 220 system to a well pump uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to want that 5 to 10 psi to be above the low set point basically where your pump kicks in uh, set at 5 to 10 PSI higher than that. So uh, normally what you would do, you would have a valve, you could, uh, like the manual says, you can uh, put a valve here and uh, shut off the outlet to set the pressure. I'm just going to use my thumb for this demonstration because it's a low pressure. And if you notice, your pressure gauge is zero right now. There's a little nut here. This is your lock nut. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly increase this and you'll see the pressure come up. Once you get to your set pressure, then you go ahead and lock this nut down and tighten it. And there's your pressure set. And now you can see the pressure is set like that. Okay, once you've gone ahead and got your pump pressure set, um, basically right now you're pumping air, your solenoid valve is open. This is your drain line. You want to hook, hook this up to a, a, a drain or a, a vent of some kind. And what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to adjust your ball valve. So mainly air is coming out, but just a little spurt of water. Um, you want to maintain that air pressure. You want to make sure you get a good aeration in the tank. So a lot of times this is almost closed. It's just barely. So what you'll go is to the end of your drain line and just see a little water spurting out. Uh, like a fast drip, almost. Okay, and that uh, concludes our uh, setup of the AirMax system. Uh, have a great day.